You've just received the news, cancer. Millions of thoughts run through your head. Your emotions bounce around like a roller coaster. Fear, uncertainty, you might even feel numb. It's okay to let the emotions come, give it time. But after the dust settles, what's next? Hi, I'm Jenna Corman, licensed clinical social worker with the Supportive Oncology and Survivorship Department of the UC Davis Comprehensive Cancer Center. There are things you can do to help smooth the road ahead. Rally the troops. Identify people you can trust and rely on, family members, friends, neighbors, or others in your life. Your go-to people can support you, join you at medical appointments, and be there when you need to talk. You might need help with day-to-day -day stuff, like housework, cooking, or childcare. Think about who you can turn to and practice saying yes to offers of help. Get organized. You'll get a lot of information from your doctors. It can feel overwhelming. Finding a way to keep track of things can help you feel more in control. Keep appointments, phone numbers, or other information all in one place, like a notebook or on your phone. Write down your questions and take them to your appointments. This can help you gather your thoughts and get the information you need. Take someone with you to your appointments to make sure you don't miss anything. Educate yourself. Learn about your diagnosis. All cancers are different. Understanding the basics of your cancer will help you ask the right questions and make the best decisions for yourself. Think about how much information you need. Some people prefer more than others, and sometimes too much information can be just as frustrating as too little. Consider a second opinion. It can help you feel more confident in your decisions. Ask how long you have to choose a treatment and take that time to inform yourself. And please, be careful searching the internet. Not all sources are reliable. Some are outdated or downright scary. UC Davis Comprehensive Cancer Center teams can help with reliable information. Start with the sites found at the end of this video series. Share your diagnosis. Who needs to know about your cancer? How much do you want to tell them? Some conversations can be difficult, especially with children or people at work, but planning for the conversation can help you and them. People are different in how much they want to share. Think about what feels best for you. Family and friends might try to help comparing your situations to ones they've lived through or heard about. People mean well, but this is often not very helpful. Try saying, thank you for caring. I'm working with my doctor to make the best decisions for me. Talk to a social worker at your cancer center. They can help you and your loved ones adjust to life with cancer. You can also watch the video in this series about how to talk to kids. Take care of yourself. There are many things about cancer that you can't control, but you can decide how you care for yourself. Self-care is one way to get back in the driver's seat. Get plenty of rest. It's so important for your body and mind. Take time for physical activity. Ask your doctor what is safe for you. Make time for things you enjoy. It doesn't have to be complicated. Even a simple cup of tea, a short walk, or listening to music can make a difference. Protect your time. That might mean saying no when you're feeling overloaded. Eat healthy foods. Cancer center dietitians can offer help. Find emotional support. Consider a peer navigator, a support group, or individual counseling. Talk to your social worker to find out what services would be most helpful. And most of all, be kind to yourself. There's no one right way to do this. Figure out what works for you. Cancer is stressful. It's a roller coaster, but you don't have to ride it alone. We can help you smooth out the ride.